methane. <clears throat> Many people ask why we still teach biomechanics in orthodontics, because after all, wire bending is outdated, right? And the straight wire system has solved all our problems. So you click two of these. It's a very good system, don't get me wrong, but it has been maybe overused during the years and it has some inherent limitations. Why do we know that? Because you see, many, many people have to use significant amount of TADs to overcome this limitation, especially in the vertical dimension. So what I propose in my lectures is, first of all, to use great books, such as Dr. Choi's book and Burstone, The Biomechanical Foundation of Clinical Orthodontics, great book, and now I just finally discovered a great little book from Dr. Nakajima about more of a technical book about a manual of wire bending techniques, which is very interesting. And it allows us to basically get the limitations of the straight wire system uh, into a much wider range. So we can treat patients with more predictability and better outcomes using these two books. And I forgot to mention my great friends, Dr. Melson and Fiorelli, who have a great ebook on the internet about biomechanics in orthodontics. So without further ado, we will be looking at Dr. Nakajima's book here on the techniques, and I will demonstrate a few wire bending techniques. Thank you, and see you in part two.